Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros, and today we're putting together one of the most epic mini PCs we've done in quite some time. And this video was made possible by Cooler Master. Big thanks again to them for sponsoring today's video. They sent over their NR200P Max. They sent over this crazy power supply, which we're gonna be upgrading in the NR200P Max. And we're gonna be showing off some of their new Halo RGB fans and show you that you can also get a tower cooler as well with the RGB fans as well. Cooler Master is an awesome company for getting PC hardware, especially cases and power supplies and cooling. So definitely check that link down below to learn more. But today, we're doing an incredibly high-end mini ITX build. We got 13th gen Intel. We have a 4070 Ti going inside this really tiny case. It's gonna be an interesting build, but you know what? It's gonna have a lot of power. Let's go ahead and talk about each individual part and how it makes up this PC build. So for the CPU, we have the 13th Gen i5, which is a actually pretty decent step up from the 12th Gen i5. You do have the efficiency and the performance cores, but this one actually has 14 cores and 20 threads. So it's basically like the 12th Gen i7 pretty much, which is pretty awesome to see in an i5. Now to cool that processor, we're actually gonna be using the liquid cooler inside of here, but we just wanna give a shout out to this Hyper 212 that's the Halo Black version because it matches their fans, which are actually pretty cool looking. But since we're using the NR200P Max and it's vertically mounted, we pretty much have to use the liquid cooling that's built into this case. Otherwise, you could use this cooler right here in pretty much any other case or just the normal NR200P. Now for the motherboard, we have this ASRock Phantom Gaming Z790 PG ITX TB4. Stands for Toasty Bros 4, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty high-end mini ITX motherboard. Um, you're gonna be paying a premium for mini ITX. That's just kind of how it is. So you might as well go all out with a nice DDR5 PCIe Gen 5 ready. It's also 13 Gen ready, so don't have to worry about doing any flashing or anything. Now for the RAM, speaking of of just not worrying about an upgrade path later on, we have some Trident Z RGB DDR5, and this is 32 gigs at 6,000 megahertz. There's no reason to upgrade from this anytime soon. So yeah, I expect this build to last a really long time. Now for storage, we normally go with like a 512 or one terabyte, but we kind of splurged here. We got a Western Digital Black two terabyte Gen 4 SSD, and this is 5150 megabyte per second max read and write. So some pretty good speeds, and it's gonna go really well inside of this fast board. Graphics card, we have the good old Galax RTX 4070 Ti, which is a very, very powerful GPU. We got that 4000 series. We got the ability to, well, play games at 4K at respectable settings. And uh, yeah, it's a 4070 Ti, very awesome car. We've used them a lot in PC builds recently, been very happy with it. Now the biggest challenge with this build is the 40 series of cards are pretty big in size and we need the NR200 Max for this specific card. There are some smaller 4070 Ti's you can pick up if you wanna go with the normal NR200, but in our case, we had to go with the Max because of the size of this three fan card. And for the power supply, again, as we mentioned, this case does come with the power supply already, but we're gonna be upgrading it to a new power supply for Cooler Master. This is the V1300 SFX 1300 watt 80 plus platinum power supply. Definitely a bit overkill for a 4070 Ti. You really don't need this much wattage. You could go up to like a 4080 and 4090 with this thing, but it's really crazy that this power supply being an SFX has 1300 watts under the hood. Absolutely crazy, awesome power supply, and it'll work really well in this PC build. If you would like a chance to win one of these SFX power supplies, then you should check the link down below and fill out the form to enter the giveaway. And you can also post your PC build with the following hashtags for a chance to win a $100 Steam gift card. And as we mentioned the case, the NR200 max. Now, the beauty of this case is it does come with the power supply and AIO. Again, we'll be swapping out the power supply, but this 240mm AIO will be absolutely great for keeping this, well, 13 Gen i5 nice and cool. Um, it does come with a Gen 4 riser cable as well because it will be vertically mounting it. And I just showed a feature I was going to talk about. This allows for these big GPUs to actually fit in the case because normally you'd be like, oh no, it's not actually going to fit. But you're going to remove these screws right here and their patented design that you can swivel out right here, put your GPU in, plop it into the riser, push this back, and boom, you can fit some large GPUs inside this very compact build. It does come with a glass side panel and a ventilated side panel. We're gonna probably experiment with both to see if the GPU will work well with the glass because we wanna see the GPU if we can, but if not, we have the ventilated side panel to give this thing great airflow, but I'm very excited. This is the most performance we've packed into such a small form factor, and I think it's gonna be an interesting build to put together. Oh, and we're also putting these Halo RGB fans in there as well to re replace the radiator fans because Cooler Master wants to show off these awesome Halo fans that are also on that Hyper 212 if you end up doing a budget build or a different kind of mini ITX build. So let's build this PC.
<laughs> All right, guys, we're playing Apex Legends on 1440p, and we have pretty much like max to the max settings. Now, we really could be playing my mouse sense too. Ooh, I think your really, is down too. We really could be playing all the way up um, to like 4K if we wanted to, but we're not quite that crazy at the moment. All right. 250 FPS with 4.3 to 5 millisecond response time. That's absolutely bonkers. Yeah, never, never thought I'd be seeing performance like this in like a game like Apex. Um, but it just goes to show that uh, you know we're looking pretty good as far as like max TDPs and stuff like that goes uh, for wattages. Now temperature is a little bit of a different story. We're seeing some kind of weird, possibly misreporting because the PC hasn't shut off, but there is times where we're seeing this i5 hitting like a little above 100C, but we have a theory that it's just one core doing that. Um, and it feels like the build's moving heat. The gravitator is not getting super hot either. So yeah, the biggest downside is this Azrock motherboard is really pumping in extra voltage uh, because they tend to lean on just giving extra voltage for stability versus uh, less voltage for better cooling overall. So um, it's it's hard to undervolt the CPU as well because the BIOS is locked with the undervolt protection. So we're kind of at a point where like, hey, it's 13 gen, it's 12 and 13 gen, they run hot. It's at the point where if it needs a thermal throttle, it will thermal throttle. But um, for a very small four factor build, we're giving this thing like worst case scenario, but I think it's still more than usable for gaming. Oh God, this guy's crazy. And I can't hit a shot. No way I'm missing all these shots. Ah. This guy's lucky I can't aim. Please, please stop shooting. Okay. Yes! Oh my god. This is why I don't like this gun, dude. Like, I swear you have to be standing still to anything. Oh! I got Kraber. <laughs> Snipers! Yeah! Got him. I'll never see it coming. Oh! Never Mr. Sandwich. See it coming. They'll never see it coming. I can't see. God. Oh. And this is how we take a this L. This is how we do it. Dude. Yeah, PC yep. runs pretty good. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Shout out Pinky Tech. Hi, Pinky Tech. How you doing? We're up testing Fortnite, and once I land here, I'll show you guys the settings. We're running pretty much. Oh, oh. Nice try, buddy. All right, guys, I'll show you the settings real quick, as long as I don't get shot in the back. There they are. Looking pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Just bouncing up and down. Oh, getting shot, shot at again. Dude, that guy had a shot on him. He does. Clapped you in the head. Four bullets and a drink. Dude, that guy is like, that was oh. kind of scary how he was pushing you. Walk into my shots, please. <laughs> oh! Oh! They shoot back. K Bay! -bay. <laughs> Not gonna get killed. Oh. We were tracing that guy. All right, guys, let's go ahead and switch to some built-in benchmarks, which will really push this thing to its limits. And I think we'll be pretty confident in our ability uh, to keep the temperatures nice and solid with this case. So let's do that. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking our tiny little mini ITX PC that is both portable, but also incredibly powerful. And overall, it did really well. I mean, we were able to play every game that we threw at it. We had pretty minimal problems, which is really nice, because normally mini ITX builds, you're gonna sacrifice something for them. Yeah, it's really cool to see the amount of power you can get in such a small form factor right here. And big shout again to Cooler Master for sponsoring today's video. You don't even have to go super high end to use some stuff from Cooler Master. They have the normal NR200 heads well, which is awesome for mini ITX gaming PCs with like APUs or smaller graphics cards, which we might be doing on the channel at some point in the future, so stay tuned for that. But again, check the link down below to take a look at all the products Cooler Master has to offer, like their power supplies, cases, and cooling, and even take a look at those RGB fans as well using the link down below. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros, and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye now, aside from our other two YouTube channels and also our Twitch, we also have a partner Discord server. We have TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you name it, we have it. Yeah, we have a lot of different social media platforms. TikTok is a very weird one as well. Definitely check that description down below to see a bunch of crazy content if you can't get enough of the Toasty Bros on YouTube. See you guys later. Goodbye.